This is your guide to expanding double brackets. When we're expanding brackets, we need to make sure that we multiply everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket. Now there's a couple of methods of doing this. I prefer something that I call the crab claw method. So we would need to multiply together m by n. This would give us m squared. We then multiply m by positive 5, giving us plus 5m. We now multiply the 3 by both bits in the second bracket. Positive 3 times m gives us plus 3m. And positive 3 times positive 5 gives us plus 15. In order to get a second mark on this question, we would then be able to simplify. There's only one m squared term. 5m plus 3m would give us 8m, plus 15 at the end. For the second question, we do the same. We've got n times n, giving us n squared. And then n multiplied by positive 5, would give us plus 5n. Here we've got negative 3 times n, giving us minus 3n, and negative 3 times positive 5, giving us minus 15. Collecting like terms together, we get n squared. We've got positive 5, take away 3, so leaving us positive or plus 2n, take away 15. In the next example, we do the same again. We have h times h, so h squared, and h times negative 6, so minus 6h. Positive 2 times h, gives us plus 2h, and positive 2 times negative 6, positive times a negative, gives us negative 12, or minus 12. Collecting the terms together, h squared, here we've got minus 6h plus 2, well, minus 6 plus 2 takes us to minus 4h, and minus 12, because that's the only numerical term. Next example, again, we multiply p by p to give us p squared. p times negative 5, so minus 5p. Minus 4 times p gives us minus 4p. And negative 4 times negative 5 gives us plus 20. Collecting together, this gives us p squared. Minus 5, take away another 4, gives us minus 9p, and then plus 20 at the end. We can also see some examples here where we might have a coefficient or a number in front of the letter. For these, we would do the same format. 3y times 4y, well, 3 times 4 gives us 12, y times y is y squared, so together, 12y squared. 3y multiplied by negative 5. Well, 3 times minus 5 would give us minus 15. So it becomes minus 15y. We would times 3y and minus 5. We then do positive 4 times both bits in the second bracket. So positive 4 times 4y. 4 times 4 giving us 16 so 16y, and then positive 4 times negative 5, that gives us minus 20. Collecting like terms, there's only one y squared term, so that stays as it is. Minus 15 plus 16 would give us plus 1y, but we don't normally write a 1 in front of the letter, so if it's just one lot of it, we would just put y. We then also have the minus 20 at the end. 
here we've got an example with only letters involved. We do the exact same thing. We would have a times a, so a squared, a multiplied by negative b, so minus a b, b multiplied by a, so plus a b, and then positive b times negative b would give us minus b squared. Collecting like terms together, well there's only one a squared term, so we have a squared, minus a b and plus a b would cancel each other out, so we wouldn't have an a b term. We then have minus b squared at the end, so minus b squared. In this example, it looks like we've only got one bracket. However, we are squaring this bracket. The first thing I would do in a question like this is cross out the squared and just write the same bracket again. Because remember, when you're squaring something, you are multiplying it by itself. There's a common misconception with this question of just doing squaring both bits inside the bracket, so it's better to put the second bracket as well. We then have the same as we have with the previous questions. So m times m is m squared. m multiplied by positive 5 is plus 5m. Positive 5 times m, again, is plus 5m. And then positive 5 times positive 5 gives us plus 25. Collecting like terms, we get m squared plus 10m plus 25. We can do the same with the next example. This time, 5y minus 3, all squared. So remove the squared and just rewrite the same bracket again. So 5y minus 3. 5y multiplied by 5y. Well, 5 times 5 gives us 25. y times y is y squared, so 25y squared for the first term. We've then got 5y times minus 3, so minus 15y. Minus 3 times 5y, so minus 3 times 5 gives us minus 15, hence minus 15y. And then minus 3 multiplied by minus 3, giving us positive or plus 9. Collecting terms together here, we get 25y squared minus 15, take away another 15, would give us minus 30y and plus 9 at the end.